Well, good morning, everyone. Thank you for showing up today to the training on how to educate a homeowner before showing the proposal. Um, first thing you have to do is uh, be in a great mindset, okay? And knowing that this is not the only roof around, they need to feel that actually you care for them, but you actually could care less about the outcome of that. In all negotiations, the person that cares less about the outcome wins. With that being said, what I want to tell you is that don't go there sweating it. Oh my God, if this customer doesn't buy from me, oh, this is gonna happen. No, just go with a great attitude, okay? Knowing that you're gonna do a great job, that you're with a goal showing something to them, okay? That's the first thing you have to do. And knowing that you, the first thing what I do when I go to a customer's home, or when I close a deal in front of someone either online. So this works online or in person. Is that I wanna know how much they know about solar. One very important thing you do when you sit down with a customer is to sit them at the dining table. Don't sit down at the living room. Try to avoid places that they feel too comfortable because the thing is this, when they lay down in a couch, they could get us, they could go to sleep. <laughs> you don't want that. You, you want them looking at you all the time and, 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 and very uh, active with you. So the first thing you want to do is to choose the place. If you go to home, choose the right place and sit down with them, whatever they can just look at what you're showing. If the TV is on, please kindly ask them to lower the volume a little bit. If there's dog, dogs barking and everything, and what, uh, make sure they tell them, I mean, I mean we have that, Doc, put it in the place so you can look at what I'm going to show you. Remember, buying a solar system is the most important thing after buying your house. So you want to have control of the situation. There's babies crying. Try to have control of that situation so all the attention goes to you. All right? So then the second thing you're going to do is you're going to sit down and put your tablet somewhere they can see it, okay? Somewhere they can see it. And that's the most important part you're going to have. Prepare the customer and asking them, sir or mom, what do you know about solar? Oh, you want to ask them, what do you know about solar? And listen to them. You have three kinds of customers. You have the one that doesn't know nothing about solar. They're completely ignorant about it. There's nothing wrong about it. The second one is the one that knows a little bit so they can tell you, oh, you know what? I know that it goes in a roof that saved you money. And there's the techie ones. This is the one that knows more than you. <laughs> they don't know more than you, but they read a lot and they want to play the smart ass because those are, there's people like that. Don't worry about it. You're going to handle all of them today. So once they finish talking, you're going to tell them, okay, that's perfect. It doesn't matter what they say. Say, that's great. Well, let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you the most important part, and it's the solar concept. And if you know how to handle the solar concept well, you're going to be closing that deal for sure. So what is the solar concept? The first thing I say, well, okay, so this is what it's solar about. So mom or sir, or, or sir let me ask you a question. Who do you pay? Uh, I see you pay, if you know already, you just don't ask them, but you pay to... PEA or whatever, or, or, or TXU, if you're in Texas, or whatever you are, if you're in Puerto Rico to, to, to Luma. Okay, let me ask you, are you a partner there or do you own that company? That sounds sarcastic, but you're going to ask them. They're going to say no. Perfect. So if you don't own them, then that means that you're renting from them. And they're going to say yes, because there's zero return investment. When you rent from someone, there's zero return on investment. Basically, you're donating your money to them so you can turn your lights on, isn't it? Great. All right. Can we say that they're going to keep raising your, your bill through the years? We all know that without inflation, I mean, without raising your prices, they cannot cope with the inflation. And they're going to say yes. They're going to agree for you with you. Next thing you're going to ask them, do you think the government is going to help you with these payments? to PGA or to whatever company, they're gonna say, no, no, they won't. Do you think that your home value is gonna go up with those payments? No, perfect. 
All right. So remember, that depends on the kind of customer. I'm talking about the average customer is going to agree with all of this, okay? And this is the kind of customer we're going to talk right now. Of course, we're going to go with some objections, but today's training is more about how you educate them, okay? <clears throat> we're going to have more intensive trainings on how to overcome the objections. So at this point, you tell them, my last question to you, do you when is going to be your last payment to them? Never. A lot of people say, when I die, that's going to be the last payment to them. And they're going to agree. And let me tell you this, I have a video on how to deal with difficult customers that is in cultura1.com, cultura1.com. That video, or also you can find it in Edgardo Gonzalez Sor, if you lo, go on and, and follow me in, um, in YouTube or Instagram, Edgardo Gonzalez Solar, you will see all these videos, okay? And you can go back and forward and learn about this. So when you finish asking those questions, you say, okay, great. Well, sir, now let's look on the other hand. When you go solar, this is the most important thing you gotta know. When you go solar, number one, the prices will not go up. Oh no, you will pay zero out of pocket. Number one, zero out of pocket. Number two, the prices never goes up. Number three, the government is helping and giving incentives to homeowners that go solar. Number four, your home value goes up. And five but not least, it's like a payment of your car or your house that at some point, you you wouldn't have to pay it again. So what a cool thing that is something that you're going to pay with less money than you're paying right now. And at some point, you will never pay it again. That's how you end that part. And I'm pretty sure they will understand better the concept, the SAR concept. I'm going to share a screen with you guys to show you the kind of education. And this slideshow that I'm going to show you today, number one, this is going to be recorded. It's being recorded. Number two, this live show is in cultura1.com. Okay, it's still being uh, 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 uploaded because we changed some things. So, what is this? Go here. I'm in full screen, Marco here. All right. So, you know, this is the first page you show them, you know, everything is about visuals, psychology, show them a nice room up there, right? And this is, um, of course, we're gonna prepare one for Puerto Rico. You guys, I know you're here and that looks more like Puerto Rican homes, um, not tilted like this, that doesn't have any tilts. So the first thing I tell to a customer, so our main source of energy, sir or mom, comes from dirty energy, coal, petroleum, which is actually oil, gas, okay, et cetera. So nearly 8,000 operational plants in the United States are causing the environment and the future. I cause you like damages. The thing is that the government knows it. Most of these plants has to close by 2030. What are you going to, what do you think is going to happen with your bill when that happens? So in this slide, what you are doing is creating consciousness about the damage of the environment, but at the same time, you're showing them that once those plants close, which it happens all the time, right? The prices will go up. That's very normal. So if you ask them, they will know it. You actually doesn't have to put nothing else on their mind because when you, 99% of the time when I ask a customer that, they say, yeah, it will go up. So when you're showing this, what you're doing is you're selling the problem. It's really difficult to sell something, when sell the solution when they don't know the problem, all right? Second I show is when you go solar, okay? When you go solar, 
you're helping the environment as well. So now you're putting the positive side of going solar. So first you have this dark picture here, and you're showing them that all the damage is causing, okay? And you don't have to talk a lot about this. The more simple, the better. And then you show, so when you go solar, sir, you not only save money, but you help the future of your kids and your grandkids, future generations, okay? Now, I immediately go to how the solar, solar panels are made. I say that this is a great quality. If they're really, really solid, like solid as an airplane window, really solid. And solar panels have no engine. This is the most important part of this. So, sir, mom, solar panels have no engine, so they doesn't they doesn't uh, cause friction or they wear off because they have no engine. What kind of engines or motors or what kind of big you know uh, um, things break down? Washing machines, cars, trucks, motorcycles, and a lot of things wears off because they have an engine. So here you're creating um, security that solar panels doesn't. Some people think that they're gonna break down like a car, but then you're showing there how they are so they don't ask you in the future. Okay, you start putting that in their mind. But I said, but anyways, you don't have to worry about it because we carry the best, uh, the best warranty in the industry. And I'm gonna tell you about that soon. Solar panels are very resistant for hail and storms. When I'm selling in Texas, I mentioned them about the hailstorms here. I live in the hailstorm capital of the world, Texas, here in the northern, in northern Dallas, where just right in March, we started receiving a lot of hail. I've been selling here in Texas for the last seven years, and I haven't had one person calling me that the hail breaks their solar panels. It could happen, and I'm pretty sure it happened, but not to me. So they're pretty solid, okay? Here again, you're planting security on their minds. So they feel secure that that's having solar panels are not a problem. In this picture, say, mom, sir, as you see, whatever they were solar panels, nothing happened. But all those parts that you see that they don't have solar, I mean, the part of the roof that went out is because they had no solar panels. The rails, of the solar panels are attached strongly to to the to the studs, okay? To the to the two by fours of the roof, making that something pretty solid. All right. I showed them this hotel in St. Martin that after Hurricane Maria resists a lot of that hurricane. Look at basically all this mess up the pool, the, the, the palms and everything, but they still have quite a bit of the solar panels. Actually, I, I would say they have 90% of the solar panels still there, okay? Which make a very good, you know, um, impression to the customer. Basically here, you gotta say, hey, look, this solar panel, I mean, in here you see this you know, hotel, in see Martin after Hurricane Maria, both the solar panels stay intact there. As you know, winds of more than 200 and 25 miles per hour, you know, pass through there. But again, we are the only company offering power care, which is a 30 year solar warranty, which includes 100% of partial label, zero deductible, zero out of pocket cost, complete US covered, and now in Puerto Rico as well, transferable ownership, power back confidence claim handling house, and 24-7 active monitoring. When you show this, you're planting and you're putting security again on their mind. This is very important that you explain the difference of this warranty and other companies' warranty. When somebody, sir, when somebody offers you, when somebody offers you a 25-year warranty, you immediately want to know that that's not good for you. Why? Because is what? Um, because this is putting your. Because this is something that actually is not 
the company's warranty. This is a manufacturer warranties, which what's going to happen if something happens to your solar panels five years from now, they're going to give you a 800, an 800 number. You're going to call them. They're going to put you in a waiting list and let's see what happens. Since if they have to change your solar panels, they're actually losing money. They're going to try to fight you. Not in our case. Our warranty is kind of like also a, a uh, an insurance. Okay, when your solar panels are insured, your your inverters and everything, every part of your system is guaranteed and insured, so we don't lose money. Why are we going to fight with you? There's no question asked, and we will make it happen for you at zero cost deductible. Isn't something cool? I sell a lot in California, and let me tell you, there's a lot of competition there, and with this, I always win, okay? So make sure you know how to explain this properly. Today, we're not giving a training on power care, but it's very important that you explain the big difference. Normally, solar companies has the manufacturer's warranty, which is total difference, okay? Then I'll go, you know, there's a 30% tax credit that if you don't do it now, you're leaving money on the table. Who wants to leave money on the table? Now, again, you won't promise this, but you can explain it that it's a law and exists. Uh, people can claim it. And in your case, Mr. Customer, I'm going to show you when you see your proposal, you're going to see how much is there for you. Energy prices keep rising and they have doubled since 2020, 2003. And they're going to double again. Would you be, do you want to be part of that? So now let me show you, and this is a very important part. I think I, I would say it's the, the most important part of this education. They need to know how it works. Trust me in this one. I've been closing deals left and right since 2016. And at one point, I was so good about it that I said, you know what? I don't want to show the education today. I want to close this. We used to make competition. Let's see who closes first. I would close a customer in probably 40 minutes, 30 minutes without showing this. Well, guess what? Then these customers go back and ask you things that are here. Why do you want to do that? Let's show them from the beginning so they don't have questions later. And then you close that deal. You just don't have to worry about it. So I said, sir or mom, when you go solar, you become from a tenant you, you change to be a, from a tenant to a partner. And what is better, to be a tenant of the, solar co of, the, of the electric company or a partner? Always to be a partner is better. They're going to tell you that. So how that works? Well, so energy is generated with the photons of the sun. So you're going to clarify that it's not from exactly the sun. Some people think when it's cloudy, like today here in Dallas, their system is not going to work. So they start getting worried about it. So you're explaining that the photos of the sun are going to heat their solar panels in the roof, which is number one, okay? They're going to produce DC, direct current, and your inverter is going to change it to AC, which is alternate currents, all right? Don't go too technical, all right? Sometimes, if you don't know about that, don't even mention it. We'll show it to them. It's good that they know that you know, right? Then that electricity is going to go through your main breaker panel and your home is going to enjoy with the same electricity it was enjoying before, but now it's going to be produced all on your roof. So your system is very powerful and that excess energy has to go somewhere. And that's what through the net metering, you know, through net metering number three, and well, they're going to put a meter that's going to measure exactly how much electricity you're sending back to the grid. Okay, it's not for free. So they'll need to know it, that excess energy is going to go to the grid. So basically, you're telling them that the solar system is connected to the utility grid. It acts as a giant battery. The grid receives the excess energy that produced during the daylight hours. You pull energy uh, during the night. Okay. 
but the power company will credit you for your electricity you put on, then deducts the credits at night when you draw it. So basically, you're sending the electricity, and from that set for that same electricity that you send them is how you don't get a bill. So here's where you're expanding. You're gonna have you're gonna keep having two bills. Does that mean that you're gonna be paying another one? Not necessarily. And that's I'm gonna show you when I show you bill. But let me explain you better how that works. So, Mr. Customer, let's imagine this big mountain here is what your system is producing during the day. All right. Let's let's say for an example that the red is the excess energy and the and the yellow is what you're consuming during the day. Let's put a round number, let's say a thousand kilowatts. Your system produces a thousand kilowatts, but you consume 500. How much you have left, Mr. Customer? They're going to say 500. Great. So that 500 are going to go to the grid. That excess energy is going to go back to the grid. Let's say the blue is what you use at night. Oh, so then I'm going to pay a bill? No. So then you show this slide what it explained better. So with the excess energy, those 500 that you produce, an excess, that's going to go back to the grid. So basically, you will not pay anything. But in your, uh, I'm going to show you in your proposal, what's your case? Some people have to pay a little bit. Some people receive negative bills. I'll show you what's your case. So what is important that you always talk to with the truth and you show them. A lot of customers get mad and they write bad reviews on some people because they're not clear. There's nothing bad to have a bill of $25 after going solar or a bill of $10, even $40 if you explain it because I'm pay, if I'm paying $600 now a month and now I'm going to end up with a, with, with a payment of $400 and $60 on my, on my electric bill, I'm still waiting as soon as they explain me because it's better to pay five, ten percent, or to waste five or ten percent, than wasting a hundred percent of their that because that's what they're doing now. If I'm paying, for example, three hundred dollars, that's going down the drain. If I'm paying three hundred dollars to the electric company, that has zero return on investment. It's doing nothing for me. If now I end up with a bill of twenty dollars. $30, that's not bad. Then I'm losing only 20. What is better? Losing the whole 300 or wasting and having zero return on investment on the 300 or having no return on investment on 20. As soon as you know how to explain that, you have no problem, my friend. This picture is to show them sometimes you want to know about, they need to know what is a, really, we, you know what we put this here? Many people, you ask them, oh, can I see your, your main breaker panel? So this is how it looks, okay? What happens if I sell my house? Don't wait. My suggestion, don't wait until they ask you. Some people even sign the agreements, and a couple of days later, they either call you or cancel because some smart ass tell them that they, they're gonna be, they don't going to be able to sell their home. What about if you educate them first? What if I sell my house? Well, this is what I tell them. Number one, let's say you pay $7,000 on your solar system in five years. Well, your home value is going to go up. Okay, your home value is going to go up. So you can mark up that and get your money back. So what is the result? Your electricity was for free in those years because you actually were able, well, maybe, you were actually were able, you're gonna be able to tell them, to explain it with the right math that they can get that money back. If whatever I pay in the last three years, I'm gonna mark it up. And when I sell the home, right? When I sell the home, I get my money back. 
Isn't that great that you don't have to worry about that? If they would have stayed paying the electric company, they would lose all that money. That's the first option. Second option, if you year past like 20 years, you're going to get your money back. You're going to be able to mark up the whole amount of money that you invest in your system. And what a great deal that you're going to be that selling a home with no bill. Is it very attractive? All right. So that's the second thing you're going to tell them. You can get the whole money back. Now, the third one is that you own the solar panels. You can bring it to, to your home. The thing is that it's very important that they have, they have options. And the third one, Mr. Customer, is very rare. You don't gonna have to take your solar panels. You're gonna be able to sell your home with your solar panels and buy the solar panels in your new house, okay? So here you show them that the National, that the National Renewable Energy Laboratory Shows, totally shows that your home is going to sell 20% faster and, of course, for 4 or 6% more. That also is backed up by the Department of Energy of the United States and the housing de development. Okay. So when you show this, you're giving them this live show, give them again security about what they're doing. This is backed up by the government. And there's nothing better to show them that. Okay, now I love this part because I have a, a, a finance back, background. And when you show people, okay, this part, when, I show, when you show people this part, it's very important to tell them, right now you're without solar. So you're just burning your money. You're donating your money to the electric company. So here you being, how many years, sometimes I'll tell them, how many years you've been, how many years you've been paying you for electricity. How many years? Well, guess what? Add them those years and show them how much money they already waste on their bill. People need to know, remember you're selling the problem. People need to know that. The second is when you go solar, your home value goes up because solar panels are an asset on your roof. It's basically, I mean, imagine that I sell you a money on a money making machine. Once you pay it off, you can print lots of money. Well, the solar panels produce energy with the sun, which is free, and energy has a cost. So that's another money making machine. So basically, Mr. Customer, your payments to the electric provider are a debt that does not produce or yield for anything. They don't they don't capitalize. It's a liability. Payments to your solar systems are an investment increasing the value of your property, which is an asset, okay? You're already paying for something that does not yield you. Pay your solar system with that same money or less instead of throwing it away. So here again, you're showing that part. And this part is the one most interesting parts because you show them that they only moving their money from a bad place, which is a liability, to a good place which is an investment, you will win after that. A lot of people just need to be educated. You don't have to be pushy. You don't have to be doing nothing. We just only show them where they are and where they could be. As a customer, your electric bill is the, the, the great one. It will keep going up, okay, with no savings and for the rest of your life. When your solar bill is going to have an end, okay, at one point, and the most important part, you will you normally will pay with less money than you were paying your utility. Show them this is very important. So what do you get? Control of your energy costs, adding value again. So you keep, you're going to have to keep adding value with your customer all the time. And planting that seed in their mind. Remember, you already sold them the problem. Now you're showing them the solution. So it adds value to your home, okay? It makes a difference in the world. You're helping the environment and future generations. And you can get some credits and leverage with the incentives from the government. If you don't go solar, Mr. Customer, you're leaving money on the table. So on top of that, when you go solar, Mr. Customer, you become my partner. And this is the time you start selling yourself. It's very important that you sell yourself, okay? Because 
I sell power as the greatest company in the world. But every consultant and every salesman in the world needs to know that people wants to do business with people. So that's why you have to sell yourself. And I tell all the customers, Mr. Customer Power is a great company. It's probably the best company in the world. And we're going to help you. But I'm going to, I'm going to make you my, my partner. And I'm going to add you to our ambassador program because I don't want you to pay for your system. You know why? Most people that you know will go solar within the next couple of years. Guess what? If you refer them to me, we're going to pay you $1,000 per referral if they go solar. And then you explain the, uh, the master program later when you close them. But you, have, you start planting that seed that doing business with you is the best thing they can do. Remember, you're going to tell them clearly. And I'm going to sure, uh, and that's my guarantee that we're going to do a great job because I'm so sure that if you, if we don't do a good job, you won't refer me no way. That's why I'm so sure that we, you're going to keep referring to us and we'll pay you $1,000. So what are your options, Mr. Customer? On the left side, you see the gray one, you're going to show it. That's why this picture is great. So when you're selling, it's everything about psychology. And I love this picture, which it says, you know, you stick with your current utility, unpredictable rates, you're showing they have no control. Ask no value to your home. Okay. You know it already. You won't get solar incentives. You will pay for the rest of your life. On the other side, you see the colorful one. Go solar, zero out of pocket. Your payments never goes up. Ask value to your home. You can get the government incentives. You don't leave money on the table. And your payment has an end, such your car and your home. So there is when you get them prepared to show them their proposal. And you said, any questions regarding what I show? If they ask you, if they ask you questions regarding their proposal, kindly tell them, hey, respectfully tell them, I'm gonna show you that right now, but anything regarding this, is everything clear? Great, so run your show, don't let them run your show. Then you switch, and then it's how you show them that proposal. So it's very important that you don't get too technical about it, and you show them all the all the slides that I told you today, and have some empathy with them. That's very important. For those videos, the one that you want to watch it again, you can see them in the Garda Gonzalez Solar, in YouTube, in Cultura1.com cultura1.com and of course follow me on Instagram at Edgardo Gonzalez Solar for more valuable information. All right, so now I'm going to go now I'm going to go and um, yeah, let's get out of here. Today we have a guest. I hope that you have learned quite a good. So look for Dustin, Mr. Dustin O'Reilly. He's already here and as we promised We'll have a great bonus in the last last ten five or ten minutes on financing. Who would like to know what are the best financing options these days? Of course, I've been doing solar for the last seven years, and I've been using Goodly since then. I've probably closed ninety nine percent of my deals with them, and this is something that you guys are going to be looking. Yes, we're going to have a recording of of this and we're going to post it in all the chats but now i'm going to invite my great friend dustin odell from good Leap so they can tell us the latest updates on financing what's up my friend how are you doing are you are you warm enough today <laughs> hello uh i am i am it's uh although i am not used to this freeze so for all of you out there if you're in the, the texas area experiencing this i hope you're staying warm and safe as well this is this is interesting well, there's people from everywhere, my friend. There's people from Florida. There's people from New York. There's people here from um, New Jersey, Connecticut. I see people here from, of course, Texas. I'm Puerto Rico. Hey, Virginia. Hey, everybody post their, their states. Everybody right. post their states. I'm so happy to see people from everywhere. So, yeah. So, right now, today, I'm Florida. 
Pennsylvania. Wow. BFW. So you're 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 frozen too. Oh yeah. Amazing. Oh amazing. well. It's great yeah. to have you all. So, Mr. Dustin, how are you today? I'm doing good. Yeah, I appreciate you having me. I love joining these uh, these calls with your team. You got an amazing team. Great, great. So we're gonna have we're gonna keep having these every week, and, and so we can keep uh, updating people on the on the financing. Um, okay. for me so far, I have closed a couple of deals this week, and I use you guys. You have the best um, uh, option at this moment. Can you explain everyone here? Um, what, what you explained the other day. Yeah, yeah, happy to. Um, you know, I was thinking this morning, um, I, maybe I'll spend, it only take me two minutes to go over updates on finance products for the team. Um, I'll share where we seem to be at, what I recommend, and then uh, I'll give you kind of high level for some of the other lenders as well, where they seem to be according to your platform. Um, but let's start off making a little interactive, if you don't mind, my friend. Um, I want to take steps back for anyone who maybe isn't familiar with Good Leap's model. Um, and so maybe I can ask you a couple of questions to help out. But the, the reality is, so Good Leap, we're the largest lender in the space. Um, we've only been in the industry for about six years, though we've been in solar for a couple of decades. Um, but really what brought us to the number one lender in the space, one of the biggest factors is our approval rate. And the reason being is we just make sales reps more money. We make companies more money because of our approval rate. So, Edgardo, entertain me here for a second, my friend. Um, let me get an understanding of your team, kind of like their volume and their metrics. And then what I'll do is I'll directly correlate that with how we can help. So, let's see. Think of like um, someone kind of middle of the road for your team. And I know you have a huge team. It's massive, so it doesn't have to be exact. But... Let's just say an average number of customers someone on your team might talk to you on a monthly basis. Well, and I have all kind of I have all kind of consultants here, but mm -hmm. I hear that uh, talk to more than, of course, more than thirty customers a, a month. Okay, and probably be closing. Uh, I mean, 10, 10 deals a month. Okay, so thirty is a, a good benchmark. About thirty percent close rate, right? Mm -hmm. Some there. Okay. Yes. Very helpful. It's a great close rate as well. I'm sure a lot of that has to do with your training and how we're obviously providing some strong value props. Okay. And what do you think an average referral rate would be for your team? Maybe like 10% every 10 customers they help, they get a referral or far more than that? Uh, I mean, depends on person to person, but yep. uh, normally normally 90% uh, of people that we sell to, they refer to they refer people. That's amazing. Okay. Let's so, say 70% of people, 70. At least 70. Okay. Great. And then this one's completely hypothetical, right? Everyone's different. I know it's a, a big spread. What do we think an average percentage, like a commission percentage might be? Like 10% of the deal, somewhere right around there? I'm sorry, what was the question then? Average commission percentage, maybe like 10% of the total deal. What do you think is fair? Yeah, power is more, uh, around 10% or more. So right. remember, we talk about the 70% um, of the profit. Right. It's around 10%. Okay. Um, okay. So we're going to take somewhat conservative numbers here. And let me kind of show the team the impact of Good Leap, specific to the numbers and specific to our approval rate. Okay. All right. I'll share my screen. Now stay with me here. I'm going to start from the top and go down. Ricardo, can you see my screen okay here? Same power at the top? Yes. All right. So let's do this row by row, okay? So if one of the sales consultants with power talks to 30 people in the month, the good news is with Good Leap, our approval rate is fantastic. It's right around 97.2%. When we look at other lenders in the space, those that are public, have shared theirs are closer to 72%. So what that means is we look to approve 29 homeowners for you, opposed to 22, okay? Now, your close rate is about 30% on average. So what that means is you're gonna get nine of those customers hopefully to install and get paid on them, right? Verse six, which really, excuse my math here, it rounds up or rounds down. So it says it's two, but 
we all know that this is really three, right? Okay. So that's how many more customers we win you on a month. basis. <coughs> Pretty straightforward. Just our approval rate alone, process, everything's great. Now on your average system, with an average dealer fee these days on a nice low APR product, the reality is our fees aren't always the lowest. Um, that's not necessarily the case today, which I'll show you, which is fantastic news. But historically, our fees might be a little higher, but it's because of this reason, right? We earn you more customers. We make you more money. So the difference in fees is somewhat negligible considering how much more money we make and how many customers we earn you. Okay, so let's talk about how this uh, factors down to the loan amounts, right? Your average commission, about 10%. These are your numbers. We're trying to be really fair here. This means your average commissions, pretty similar, depending on the, the lender you use. But because we earn you more customers, look at the delta in commission on a monthly basis, right? 38,000 versus 27,000 pretty significant. Now, if we just continue with this math and we multiply it by 12, your annual commission under a good leap model, 456,000 versus 333,000. It's becoming pretty obvious why we seem to make you more money, hopefully. Okay, you got a referral rate of 70%, which would be amazing. Annual referrals. Look at how many more referrals we get you because we get you more approvals. Very big difference and just your referral commissions. Now look at this figure. This is your total annual income. An extra $209,000 using Agardo's numbers. Wow, right. that's a pretty big difference. Like Real that. numbers here, guys, right? And I can see people making that kind of money here and uh, so you guys that are looking at these numbers, this is pretty, pretty feasible. This is pretty, this is happening right now. Yeah, so it's powerful, right? This is the power of Power's model combined with Good Leap's model, right? Power brings a lot of value, gives you a lot of resources and train to win deals, get more referrals, and Good Leap gives you a higher approval rate and a better process. So that's the home run on why Good Leap makes sense. But let's take a quick look at products as well. So you can see we're winning from every angle. Now check your own platform. You guys have a hot sheet. The good news is I had a meeting with uh, the members that put together your hot sheet today. Uh, the most recent one has some inaccuracies to it. Um, I notify them of it. I'm gonna work with your team to correct these situations so they know how the products really stack up. But these are the numbers based upon what I was provided from your sales members. So this is us, this top box here using the same cash price that you saw on a hot sheet. Right now, you've got a 25 year 349 with us with a monthly payment starting at 128.25 in this example. The product that was recommended on your hot sheet is this one right here from Sunlight. It's only 41 cents less expensive. That's it. And look at the difference in loan amount. 37,837 versus we're only 35,500. So your customer pays a couple extra pennies a month and they save thousands of dollars in their loan. And you get the benefit of our approval rate where you make the extra 200,000 figure we were talking about, plus an easier process. Plus you talk to our underwriters within eight seconds, we get you more deals. So that's how we stack up from a loan product standpoint. Now, in addition to that, you can lead a 25 year 399 and I'd argue this product even makes more sense from a low payment perspective. Customer pays an extra buck or two a month, maybe, but they get a far better process. Our loans are transferable. We service our own loans for you and your customers. Then you've got another option with us, which is a 24-year 499, where the first 12 months is no payments, no interest of paid in full. So that means a customer has no payments for a full year, right? And then after that is $144. Very good product, especially if you're having areas with delayed PTOs. And then let's talk about the customers on the other side of the spectrum. Those that want something close to cash pricing, a low loan amount. Right now with us, you have a 25 year 9.99. The fee is only 3%, pretty close to cash, right? 
This is the lowest loan amount product I could find. Not even Sunlight's 25 year 999. Theirs is higher. So we have the lowest loan amount product and it's a 25 year product. So look at the monthly payment. It's only 161 bucks in this example. And it's almost same as cash pricing. It's a fantastic product. Now, and if you have a cash customer who's like, hey, I don't wanna pay the extra 3%, remind them, keep in mind, you get a, you qualify, you could qualify for a 30% tax credit on that loan amount. So the extra 3% is a little more you know, tax credit. So that's not so negative, but then you also get the benefit of you don't have to pay this off for up to 90 days past install complete, right? Our first payment for our borrowers is 90 days after install. So you give them a full three month window pretty much to just pay this off in full. They don't have to worry about it. Okay, so I think we stack up better than anybody on your platform. I'm biased, but the numbers don't lie. Our products and pricing look fantastic for your team. And then at the end of the day, if you like our process better, which I think almost every sales rep who's used us versus other lenders will agree our process is amazing, our support's amazing. Just lean on this, lean on these figures, our approval rate. The reality is our approval rate's higher, we're making you more money, we're providing you better products. I'm open to feedback on why another lender might make sense right now, okay? I, of course, I'm biased, but share feedback with me. If you're seeing something I'm not, I'm always open to it. But right now, we seem to make you more money. We seem to have better products. And I'll make sure you get whatever support you need to be successful. So one question, though, Dustin. Uh, so now it changed from 60 days after, after installation or from or 90 days. Explain me that better now. So it used to oh. be like... Six yeah. days after installation. Yeah, it's 90 days. Yeah, it's 90 days now. So, wow. you yeah. guys heard that? 90 days. Now, when you're selling, you can tell, sir, you will, or mom, you will start uh, paying your, your loan 90 days after installation. It's very important that you guys know that. It used That's to be right. 60. That's right. Yep. And then, uh, you know, friendly reminder uh, very flexible with our guidelines. You can do $7 a watt for solar only plus 45% for adders, right? MPUs, line side taps, condo through the attic, tree trimming, everything's pretty much an adder outside of your primary components and install. So if you max that out, you're really looking at 1150 a watt and batteries are excluded from cost per watt caps. So it should be very, very hard to not be able to stay within our guidelines. Um, we try to make it easy, right? But give me feedback along the way. Amazing, amazing. Uh, well, what we're going to do, if, if you guys have any questions, or you just post it there. Any questions you have for Dustin right now, you want to put it in the chat bar. Any questions regarding, um, there's a, a good lead coming to Puerto Rico, oh. uh, not for the moment. Um, what other questions? where we can see it again. Um, how can I share this? Uh, we're gonna be able, we're gonna be having a recording on this. So okay. You guys will get it, don't worry. And that's what the, the thing that we're gonna tell you, post your email here, or actually no, I mean, so if you're here is because you saw this ad about this training. So we're gonna be posting that in the chats, okay? It's better. We're gonna be posting this recording Okay, about now, about the, uh, about for you guys, about the, um, the slide deck on the education, that's going to be posted on cultura1.com, which is our training website. So just wait one day because we're going to upload the new version there and we'll see here. And we're going to keep bringing uh, Dustin to this. We're going to have another uh, presentation next week. I think we was for Friday next week. Uh, we'll have it somewhere. So many trainings that we have, but I know that you'll be here with more updates. Okay. So it's right. It's better to have such short interventions every week so he can up, update us with more information and you can write it down. You're going to see all this in the recording. So again, thank you, uh, Dustin, again, for this great presentation. I'm pretty sure um, some people are going to take advantage of that just right today. 
So the weekend is coming. Let's start. Let's keep closing deals as we've seen. And this is the best time of selling solar. We're starting with the right foot 2023. Remember today at two o'clock, if you're from Texas, show up in the Texas spotlight. All right. And you have all the information on the chats and we just put it. Um, so thank you for coming here. Remember and educated. So the, we're coming to challenging times. Challenging times when the interest go up, things, you know, inflation and all kind of good stuff. So you got to be a lion. You got to be prepared. The person that gets more training and gets better trained are going to make it. There's going to be a lot of people that will fail this year and the next years. They're going to go down. They're going to not exist. They're, gonna, they're, they're not going to be here. But guess what? For those of you that will get trained like you're doing today, you will thrive. And you will make more money because there's going to be less competition. And that's how it's about, isn't it? Uh, isn't it, Dustin? So Absolutely. Even with companies, there's, going to, there's a lot of companies, solar companies, finance companies, they're going to go down. They're going to just go bankrupt. Guess what? That's not happening to us. Power has no debts, has a lot of many million dollars in the bank, and is getting better with the operational team every day. So that's why we will be there. And don't listen to all those noises of companies. Oh, this is a better company here, better company there, because they will not exist. And guess what? We will be here. So get ready to be better and thrive in 2023. So thank you for becoming here today and get ready all the time. Thank you again, Dustin. And see you at the top. See you at two o'clock, guys. Have a great week. Thank you for coming.